Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to register a provider or a facility on the HealthStack platform. Using the link that will be sent to you, healthstack-test.netlify.app slash sign up slash provider, you can find a form uh, on the right hand corner, on the right hand side of the page that says create an organization. Creating an organization, which is create a facility, a, a registered provider, is a three step process which um, involves creating an organization's profile, creating, uh, entering details about your contact information, and creating an admin account for your facility or for your provider. So I'm going to show us the process. First step is to um, enter the name of the hospital or the pharmacy, laboratory, as the case may be. In this case, I'll say demo for clinic. Okay, demo clinic. Um, the name of the doctor is Dr. Demo. The organization's type, the organization type um, is very important because um, it will determine the modules that will be available to the user. So if you're a, if you um if you run a dental hospital, you choose dental as the type of organization. If you are registering a hospital, please choose hospital. If you're registering a pharmacy, please choose pharmacy, or a di diagnostic lab please choose diagnostics. So choose an organization type as it applies to your area of specialization or the type of services that you run. I'll choose hospital for this demonstration. Organization category, I'm going to say secondary. You can say primary or tertiary <clears throat> as the case may be. Your CAC number um, follows a format um, like so. Is a 14 digit, um, sorry, it's a nine digit, um, I think it has two characters, RC or BN, and then about seven digits. For this demonstration, I'm going to use, please enter your RC, uh, your, CA, your CAC number, as it, you can find it in your business, in your reg, uh, company registrations uh, document. Click next to go to the next um, level of the registration, which is to enter your organization's co contact detail. Country Nigeria for state, I'm going to say federal capital. Local government, I'm going to say Abaji. City, I say Abaji. Let's say the address is 10 Test Lane. The phone number, let's use this. Uh, if your phone number is an 11 digit number and then for email i'll say demo clinic no let me say admin at or oh, i can let me let me use this info at demo clinic dot com and please take note of this email so it might be the same email you use to log in so if it's the same email you use as an admin you have to take note of that email so i'll say for first name of this admin let's say demo admin that's the name of the administrator for this hospital so how does this admin account work so you can use you can designate designate or appoint um a staff at your hospital, let's say someone that is the IT um, officer or your administrative or ad administrative manager. Um, if you have none of those, you can use any staff from your operations. Let's say a front desk officer can, you know, be an admin. A nurse can be an admin. A doctor himself can be an admin. What does the admin do? The admin administers the platform for every other user. He manages every other user and you know the accounts he manages locations he manages as uh, he does the set setup of the organization so it's important to use someone that has the time to do this someone that you know can or you know has some skill 
to handle this. For phone number, I use this profession. I say it's an administrator. Let's say the administrator is an IT manager in the operations department in the IT department. For te for the password, I'm just going to show my password. I will use test. Please ensure that you click um you check this to confirm that you are you are agreed to our terms and conditions. So I'm just going to check and click on complete registration. Notice how when I click on complete registration, it tells me that your account was successfully created and it also successfully logged me into my account. Please note that the account, the email and the password you used when creating your admin account is very necessary for future logins. You can ask your computer to remind you, your browser to remind you of your password or you can note it out somewhere so that you can easily access it and log on to the platform. Thank you.